Okay, Logic Pro X Tuition Unit 3. We're going to look at recording software instrument tracks. So let's boot Logic Pro, file new project, and this time I'm going to choose a software instrument track instead of an audio track. Software instrument. Hit create and a new channel strip appears. Classic electric piano. You can change the instrument that appears on the uh, software instrument track. If I have a quick look at the mixer. Scroll up. And I can choose from a whole range of instruments, from synthesizers through to drum synths, everything in between. I'll leave it as it is at the electric piano. And if I play my MIDI controller, I can hear my lovely electric piano. I'm going to close the mixer and I'm going to hit make sure it's record enabled, which it is, and hit record. Okay, it's a simple little four bar loop. Now I'm going to take it out of record enable and I'm going to click and hold in the upper part of the time ruler here and drag it across to create a cycle. It's just going to go round and round. When I hit play, it will just go to keep repeating what I've recorded. Now, let's save it. File, save as. I find my way to the drive where I'm saving all this stuff in Logic X Lesson videos. And I save it as Logic X Tuition Videos Unit 3 Software Instruments. If I hide Logic, go to my drive. Audio 2, Logic X Lesson Videos, Logic X Tuition Videos, Unit 3 Software Instruments. There's my Logic document. There's my Audio Files folder, but there's nothing in it because we haven't recorded sound. But hang on a minute, we just recorded... That. Yes, we did, but we did not record sound. What did we record? Let's go and have a look. We recorded things we recorded things called MIDI notes. And if I double click on this classic electric piano, a piano roll editor appears. I'm just going to get rid of these for the minute because I want as much on the screen as I can get. Hit play. I can zoom in and out. I can scroll up and down. And I can see these blocks. The different colours correspond to how hard I hit the note. If I hit it hard, if I hover over it, you can see that it's a pitch of C3 of the velocity of 79. Whereas that one is a pitch of C3 with a velocity of 112. The harder the velocity, the louder the note, and certain other things change. So to prove to you that I've recorded numbers, not sound, I can change these notes. That first note is an A. If I click on it to select it, I can increase the velocity, watch the color change. 
I can even change the note. This will sound horrible. I changed it from an A to a B flat. You see that note there? I can make that much quieter, make a little grace note. That one's too loud. And that one. And those three are too loud. And that one. Not only that, but if I zoom in, you can see this slightly out of time. You see that well, those two are just before the beat. So are those. I can fix them all and put them exactly on the beat. If I lasso them to select them all, and then use this quantize, what this will do is this will shift everything that's selected onto the nearest exact division. If I choose 16th notes and hit Q, you see them all shift. Now look, they're exactly on the beat. Okay. So remember, we haven't recorded sound, we've recorded MIDI notes. We can edit them. I could, for example, turn this into a major, an A major chord. If I take the C's and make them C sharps. I've changed it from a major to a minor. I'll change it back to the minor. If you don't want the notes to sound when you click on them, click on this little logo here. It says MIDI out. Now I can click <laughs> without them playing. So I'll make that one a bit louder. That one's still a bit loud for me. I've overdone that. Okay. There we are. Software instruments. Remember, you're not recording sound, you're recording MIDI notes.